Row 18, plot 20. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the JLA Member Channel. I have a movie review for you. Um, it, this is for the movie Injustice. Uh, it's a 2021 film. It's an hour and 18 minutes. It gets 6.4 star rating on IMDb. Real quick, early shout out because I know a lot of people don't watch past a minute of some of these videos. But I want to shout out a channel... Uh, that kind of uh, inspired me to be doing some injustice research because he posts um, shorts and uh, videos on gaming. Uh, the channel name is Henny God S L I C Slick. Uh, description will be down. Or, uh, link will be down in the description below. Uh, but he's a very loyal uh, commenter and. Uh, subscriber to my channel. He comes to a lot of my live streams when I game DC Universe Online. It's very interactive with chat. Very good guy. Um, but he posts some of the uh, clips of his fights uh, from the Injustice game series. And I have not ever played those. He posts Mortal Kombat um, and Apex. Um, I'm sure there's more, but uh, he's definitely worth checking out. He could use some subscribers. Would love to see a bunch of you guys go over to Hanny and uh, show some love and support. Um, so, yeah, because of the clips that he was showing of the Injustice game, um, I looked up trying to get the game, and it's a little bit out of my price point, and um, I also came across that the, there was this movie that somehow I missed, in 2021 so I was like you know what I'll do a review of that and uh, we'll we'll see how it is so um, the the movie is based on the game and it's only an hour and 18 minutes so that's pretty cool um, I, I've not always been a fan of the injustice looks like their costumes they're bulked up their armor they're they're just different styles I've seen the action figures I've never picked up any of those. I think I did finally just not too long ago pick up a Joker. Uh, I don't think you can see it, but it's kind of hidden back there on the clown collage uh, stuff. So I started watching this movie and it didn't take really very long for me to realize that this was brutal. This movie was crazy brutal right off the rip. I had to pause this, go to IMDb, which is what we'll do right now. And um, I had to check. This is rated R. This is an animated R DC film. So if you want to see like a rated R DC Universe film, uh, this is the one for you. So the uh, synopsis is that on an alternate Earth, the Joker tricks Superman into killing Lois Lane, which causes a rampage in the hero. Superman decides to take control of Earth. Batman and his allies will have to attempt to stop him. It's fucking crazy. Directed by Matt Peters. The writers are Ernie Altbacker and Tom Taylor. And some of the notable cast members is Justin Hartley is the voice of Superman. Anson Mount as Batman. Laura Bailey as Lois Lane, but that doesn't last very long. She gets murdered. Um, Damien, Zach Calliason, Green Lantern, Brian T. Delaney, Cyborg, Brandon, Michael Hall. Uh, Plastic Man is in this. Oliver Hudson, Harley Quinn, Jillian Jacobs. I'm trying to just do some notable people here. Kevin Pollack uh, is the Joker. Reed Scott is Green Arrow. He's pretty predominant in this. And Janet Varney is Wonder Woman. But there are so many characters in this that there's there, there's like a ton of cast to read off. Uh, Catwoman, Nightwing, Captain Adam, Ra's al Ghul, uh, Mr. Terrific, I said Plastic Man, Mirror Master. There, there's just a ton of people in it. So I, I went back to the film after checking IMDb to see, that, in fact, that it was rated R. And there were so many, like, uh, jaw-drop, what-the-fuck moments because it really was so violent and so good. I love this premise. I love Elseworlds stories, uh, and that's what I kind of consider this. I don't know that it's really branded as an Elseworlds 
and if you don't know what Elseworlds is, that's when uh, the comic books used to take your character and spin, do something different, like their origin was different, or they never got their powers, or Superman didn't land in Kansas, he landed in Russia, and how would that story have played out with Superman having been, you know, captured or or raised in Russia as opposed to uh, Kansas by the Kents. So I love Elseworlds. Um, Marvel does what if. I, as a kid, I always loved those comic books because I just loved seeing how they tweaked stories. Um, so this is good in that sense. For the most part, all the characters aren't necessarily like tweaked, but the story is because Superman goes bonkers and then it becomes that struggle um and then the redemption arc and then the whole ending but that whole the whole joker uh plan that you know that they, they've given away that part in the uh, synopsis the way the joker concocts his whole plan and hearing his verbal description of why he did what he did to Batman, it's just really, really clever. It's really good to see Superman kind of lose it when he realizes what he did. It's just really, really good. Um, so I don't want to spoil too much of it, but it's definitely, if you've never checked out the movie version of the Injustice game, it's worth doing. And if you just want to see like a hardcore quick, like it's an hour and 18, 18 minutes, but it goes very fast. Um, check this movie out and let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. Um, there's some people that are for comic book adaptations in live action and animated. Uh, they're for the R rating, like let's take it to that level. And then there's other people that are like, why do you need to take Superman to an R level? You know, you don't. Superman's warm and fuzzy and wholesome. Uh, I would love to hear opinions on should they do this kind of storyline uh, or leave it for characters that were meant to be R-rated like The Punisher um, or maybe even Wolverine. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below and have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.